When raindrops hit bare soil, they blast things. It's like a bomb dropping and there's little pieces of soil that splash up. Well, I'd like to protect my soil and if I've got residue out on the ground, the raindrops are going to hit the residue and it's just going to slowly filter down into the soil, leaving my soil in place. And that leads to less soil erosion from rain. Having residue in place can also protect the soil from wind erosion. So if you're going to have residue out in fields that aren't going to be planted for quite a while, it can be kind of a nice thing. Well, having all that residue there also helps keep the ground cooler and a little bit more wet. So here again, like on our farm, we've got some river bottom ground. I don't want the soil to be cool and wet. I want it to be hot and a little bit drier. So how we take care of that residue is we use a chopping corn head, for example, in our corn to chop it up into little pieces. That will allow the bacteria to get into that residue faster and break it down more quickly. We can also do tillage. That will really speed things up to what we always term as farmers, make the ground black, getting rid of a lot of the residue, breaking it down into small pieces. It gets degraded. We release the nutrients. The soil's warmer and drier. So there are advantages and disadvantages to this tillage and, and making that ground warmer and drier. But that's one of the things we like to do on some of our acres.